Good morning, good people. What it do, folks? So, before we jump in, guys, check this out. I just wanted to show y'all this. Bought a new desk for the trading office yesterday. Where is this sucker? Check this bad boy out. So, guys, I sit at my desk a lot and, you know, starting to kind of take a toll on my body. So, I wanted to get one of these standing desks and I ordered this bad boy yesterday. So, if any of you guys got a standing desk, comment down below. Let me know how you like it. Right? I'm a little bit hesitant, you know, to think I'm going to be able to stand all day long, but we shall see. But nonetheless, right? Little addition here, guys, to the office. So, jumping into the morning here, guys, and at least on my end, the story of the week has been the shitstorm known as Thinker Swim. Right? Down on Monday, down on Tuesday. And you know, guys, we can control what we can control. If you trade on the Thinkorswim platform, you can't control shit like yesterday, right? It's frustrating, guys. I'm not going to lie. You know, I've been sitting here for weeks looking to play this freaking daily squeeze on Tesla. Picture perfect move unfolds. Now, granted, I made some nice money on this last week, but I wanted some more here this week. Monday, I'm locked out. Tuesday, I'm locked out. Tesla goes ahead, guys, and then makes the move. Amazon, right? Been watching this freaking daily squeeze. Locked out yesterday, came into the session, guys. Game plan, everything ready, looking to take a position. Freaking thing goes and makes the move. So it is what it is, guys, right? It's easy to sit here and say, man, I would have made X amount on Amazon, Tesla. You know, none of that matters. Every second you waste thinking about that is a second that you're not getting prepared to take action here today. So collective prayer. Thinkerson holds up today, family, and we can actually freaking trade. So here's my watch list, guys, at the moment, plain and simple, Tesla, Google, and Amazon. All right, I've got a couple other daily squeezes, which I covered in yesterday morning's video. That hasn't changed. Visa is a beautiful squeeze. Adobe is a good-looking squeeze, looking like she wants to go there. And then you've got Pizza Pizza, Papa John's over here with another nice-looking daily squeeze. You know, to me, guys, I kind of look at those setups as like income trades. Risking a really small portion of my account, just looking to get some steady money in. Where, you know, these Goliaths like Amazon, Tesla, Google, looking to put a bit more capital in there and then looking to get a bigger move. So, you know, we'll start with Google here, guys, and kind of break this sucker down. Now, obviously, all of these moves here are going to be contingent on continuation in the queues. Right? We need money continuing to go into tech here. So, that's obvious, but something to definitely keep in mind. Good looking Google daily squeeze. We got all time highs up above. Now guys, last week I already bought a call. So for next Friday's expiration, I got a 1485 call. At the moment, that's gone from about 55 bucks and 15 cents to just about 70 plus. So I'm gonna continue to hold that. And that's in my girlfriend's account. Just don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. But what I'm looking for here guys in my bigger account is a potential entry. So. What I'm looking for here, again, is continuation in tech, looking to play this Google daily squeeze. Right? If tech continues, I'm confident we got a decent chance here of making a push towards all-time highs. So you know, take a look here at a bit of this pre-market action. And then we got, what, uh, about an hour and a half here till the market opens. So we shall see. But you know, what I would love this morning, guys, is for you know, a little bit of a dip here in tech. Right now, that would get me really excited if the Apples, the Googles, the Amazons, the Qs, the Googles of the world can dip here a little bit at the open. Right. We're getting ourselves some much better entries. Calls get cheaper. If you're looking to sell some puts, they get more value to them. So while dominantly family, y'all know I like to sell options, not the case on Google, right? Just the spread on, you know, the bid and the ask between the contracts is pretty trash. So long story short, I'll be looking for some September monthly expiration in the money calls if we do get a dip here today. Looking for this sucker to eventually go ahead and fire that squeeze. As for Amazon, guys, you know, my ideal entry is down here at the 21, right? So, you know, if I'm doing my damn job, right, and getting my head out of my ass and taking entries when I should, I'm locking profits in right here, right? Not jumping in. So, look at Amazon headed into the open, and we're coming in here a little bit. So, you know, any dips here underneath that all-time high might make for a good entry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, Amazon a little bit more expensive. 
So for those of y'all with smaller accounts, you know, you definitely most likely want to lean towards put credit spreads, call debit spreads, you know, something where you can, you know, really lower that, uh, you know, the capital required here. But simple stuff here, guys. You got a daily squeeze. You got all-time highs above. Daily squeeze officially firing off here. Can we make a move to all-time highs? Can we make a move through the all-time highs and start punching in some new ones? We shall see. So, you know, Google, Amazon, very much the same thing here. Looking to play these daily squeezes, looking for entries on a dip. And last but not least, we've got Tesla, guys. We got this week, we got next week, and then we're going to go into head, uh, head into that stock split. So all about this hourly squeeze. Right? When Tesla's making a big move, it can give you a gift once it goes into these squeezes here. Right? It makes a big move. It then takes a breather, starts to build up energy trading sideways. That's where you want to look to get those new entries, right? Trying to play the continuation. The squeeze is going to give you one of those best entries, but you don't want to fight the squeeze. What I mean by that is we're building up energy right now here on the hourly chart. If this energy gets released to the downside, that's going to give you such a good entry, guys. But you got to be patient, right? If we're going to release some energy to the downside for a bit, don't go and fight that. My suggestion, if you guys got the TTM squeeze indicator, is look at the lower time frames, like a 15-minute chart, a 30-minute chart, and an hourly chart. And what you're looking for in the event that we do begin to see some selling pressure to the downside is you're looking for that selling pressure to dry up. Or in other words, you're looking for that momentum to the downside to start to dry up. And let's see, see if we can find a good example here, fam. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's a good example, right? When Tesla's breaking down, this is kind of an extreme example, but when, you know, we're releasing energy to the downside, you're going to get these red bars here on the TTM squeeze indicator. You know, so on the 15, the 30, the hourly, whatever the case is, we start releasing energy to the downside. Be patient looking to play that dip. Look to play that dip once we start to lose that bearish momentum, right? Once that selling pressure dries up, and on the indicator here, that's when those red bars start to go to yellow. Then you got a better chance of looking for a dip there. So Amazon, Google, Tesla, I'm going to start with lower time frames this morning, the 15, the 30, the hourly. If we do begin to dip, I'm going to be sitting here, guys, finger on the trigger, waiting for that downside momentum to dry up, then looking for the bounce. But you don't want to fight that energy. If we're releasing energy to the downside, wait for it to dry up. So... That's that family. For those of y'all in the Focus Trades group, what time is it here? 7.54. So for those of y'all in the group, we're gonna be live in about 45 minutes for this morning's pre-market prep and live trading session. For those of you guys aren't in the group, you can check us out at focustrades.com. 10 bucks a month, guys. My brother and I, we trade full time. We want y'all to really kind of you know, see through all the bullshit, a lot of the hype and the lies that you know, unfortunately, you see on every ad here on YouTube. All right, guys, trading is not easy, but if you approach it like a sport, right, show up every single day, don't think about money, thinking about getting better, right, just slowly compounding your skill set and then focusing on the right things, you can become a consistent trader. But all these promises, guys, right, a few simple setups can change your life, right, you can quit your job. Hopefully, if you're a Focus Trade subscriber, you see through that crap. Right, and you value a little bit of the transparency here that this is one of the hardest jobs on earth. But if you got the grit and you can work through, you know, the frustrating periods, start to focus on the things in the market that really matter and approach your trading like a business, you can make it happen. So if you guys watch these videos every morning, I appreciate you. I love you. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. And of course, you guys will be the first ones to know here if I do take any action this morning. So Tesla, Google, Amazon, your man is waiting on a dip. We'll see if we get that dip. I'll keep you guys posted and talk to you later on. Peace out.